Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Searching for Behind the Scenes. Well, what I'm doing now is I'm building a freaking box around all my equipment here. I'm making it so I can fold this up and come right up on top, and I'm going to have another piece that's up front here. So I can fold it down. I have a another six inch, another six six inch extension out here, so I have room to do what I need to do. Um, I can run, you know, whatever I need. It's just extra extra room out here um, to do what I need to do, um, especially if I've got to do stuff on my tablet. Um, if I'm going to run the underwater camera, I need a place to. Put that so I can work with it but <clears throat> another another good thing is it's gonna it's gonna give me shade over the top of my system so I don't have the Sun and Sun shining on my equipment it'll also protect it from the rain uh, if I'm out there when it's raining so that's where I'm at right now what I did is I built uh, I cut out some uh, three-quarter plywood uh, 12 inches 12 inches so it's going to come right up here and then I put two two hinges here the reason for that is so I can fold it up and then that's kind of the way it'll always stay but if I got to get back here and take things you know swap things out or whatever I need to do I can fold it back just like it is right now and I have access to everything Another thing, another another little uh, project I'm going to do is the Minn Kota foot pedal here. Um, when I'm sitting out there trying to do what I'm doing and directing, I don't have it on the floor. Uh, it's a rubber raft, so it doesn't, you know, it's got a rubber floor on it, so I, I can't push on this. All I can do is I use my hands to squeeze on it to control it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a um, a handle up here, a joystick. So then I can just go ahead and like this, and I can steer where I want to go. Instead of having to keep squeezing on it. That's my next project for that. Okay, welcome back. And this is the continuation of building a box around my Lowrance sonar... Sonar... Uh, heads as you want to call them so this is where i'm at right now i decided to make a whole 12 inch piece so what's going to happen is this piece here i have this piece here so it just folds up inside then i've got the top piece that's just going to fold down over the whole whole scenario here um, i've got hinges on the back so i can fold this whole whole unit back and then i can get get behind it and also make it clear so I can pull the poles for the transducers out and then drop them down. So that'll be completely like that. Now, the other, the second, the second ad, uh, advantage of doing a whole piece here is I can use this top, I can use this top as a table because it's going to lay right back over the top and I'm going to be able to put stuff right on top of here. Um, also, I can go ahead and I can fix uh, fix things right here because when it folds down, it'll fold right inside and it'll be all in there. So once I fold it back up, um, maybe a couple of holders and stuff like that. Um, I may put definitely definitely put some pieces along the edges here so nothing's going to slide off of it. When I don't want it to, um, and then of course this here just folds out, and now I have another, another de uh, kind of a desk setup. Um, also, it's going to help with vision with these. Um, cut down on the sun sunlight being inside. So what I'm doing right now, I just finished. I just finished um, getting uh, getting these hinges attached here. Um, I've got these. I'm gonna shave these off real quick because they they push into here they're not completely down next thing i got to put hinges on this um 
Then I'm trying to figure out how I want to now attach this to the to the seat on the boat. Um, I guess, I guess the only only thing I can really think of now is just go ahead and drill a bolt, drill a hole through it, and uh, go ahead and put a put like a half inch. toggle toggle bolt down down through it um, unfortunately I got to drill a hole through the seat uh, so that's kind of where I'm at with that all right let me finish this up and we'll be back all right so continuation here screwing these the inner inner screws of the hinges in there. Things you gotta remember, you gotta get these screws dead center <laughs> in the in the middle of the holes. Because when you screw them down, if you don't have them dead center, it's gonna move. Because of the fact, again, because you can see the screw, the screw has got uh, is 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 notched inside itself. So this is what I got right now that folds right up out of the way. This is coming down, and that's gonna seal the whole whole thing. I've got to get a uh, thing for that to lock that down. I do. Where is he? <laughs> multi multi hinged multi. Like I said, it it, it flexes really good. Oh, uh, I'll come up. This will go here. So I'm gonna lock it down there like that. And that'll, that'll secure that on there. Um, but that's the whole that's the whole deal there. When I'm out on the out on the water, I can fold this over. Now I have a whole now I have a whole new bench system. Then I got this bench system here, and I can attach whatever I need here because it'll fold right in. And then. This one here again is just going to be a collector, and then once that's locked down, now it's secure. Um, this thing probably weighs probably about 30, 30, about 30 pounds now. So they'll sit in the middle of the boat. Uh, weighs about as much as the uh, about as much as the boater motor does. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and put it on the. The boat, this is what I got. So I can lean it back just like it is. I, I put chain on it. And then when I need it, because that's gonna be when I need to fold the fold the transducer poles back onto there. And pull that forward like like so. And when we're, when we're ready to go out on the boat, ready to go out on the boat, I have this so push this down and lock that in and now with these these sitting just like so this is exactly what I got when I'm sitting here now I'm, now I'm watching my machines here now I'm gonna have to have to adjust these so now I'm looking at them you know in the water and then out of the sun so now I got plenty of room right here that I can uh, do what I need to do. I got plenty of room up here to do what I need to do. I found these trim trim pieces I put up here, so if I got something that's not going to roll roll off. Um, and then, of course, down down here. The other thing, what I did, so I can pass that on, is I discovered the. Trolling motor control can sit right there, right up front, right where I need to have it. And now I can just toggle it left, left or right. Now I can control my my steering. I can just push down on this to make intermittent intermittent uh, speed when I have it in mod here. 
So like that, now I just push this and that controls the propeller. When I slide, when I drop this down, now it's being controlled by me rolling, rolling this up and down depending on the speed that I want. Because when it's sitting right here and you put it in that mode, that's the speed of that propeller the minute you push this button down. When you push that button down, that's how fast that propeller is going to go. Now you can adjust it down to that. And then, you know, you got manual, basically just manual control over the, the propeller. This here, it's running, it's running all the time as long as this is slid up and down depending on the speed. And then now I got this. So what I'll do is I'll put a clamp, a quick clamp. I can tighten a clamp down here. And now this thing is totally secure. And now I can do what I want to do. I may even just take that handle down a little bit, cut that handle off there, and maybe just go ahead and I can adapt it, adapt it right here, and then I can just do this instead of having to squeeze on it. So that takes care of that. Now, when I'm ready to go home, all I'm doing, these are already, trans, transducers are already up, and seated, well, you're not, I need that. Now I flip up, flip this up, and I flip that back out. Okay. And then now, now I can put the transducers away. <laughs> that up. Slide the transducers back in, lock them down, where you want them, that one, that one, that one, hey. <laughs> bring it back, put my bench back up, like so, and now I'm going to flip this down, and then what I got is a, I got a, an expandable hasp. And now I just got to find something to lock that down. And that's how that is. And then when I'm ready to, we're ready to go, I get there and I can go just like this. Push that forward. Get the transducers down in the water like I need them. Pull it back up here. I'll lock it, lock the top in with this. down lock the top in like that flip it back up and now we're ready to ready to rock and roll the only thing I got right now is I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount it on the on the boat itself so that's where I'm at right now most likely I'm gonna go ahead and drill drill straight through straight through there and use these toggle bolts and go right through the seat and lock it lock it down all right we're now out here at the boat i just lined up all my marks and now i'm drilling a hole through the the aluminum real important thing keep the low keep all your aluminum shavings together here because you don't want them cutting holes in your boat they will you know, I was using what I had right here to try and keep, keep stuff from going anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Go through the bottom. Man. Back over here and line up the hole. All 
right. Okay, that's that. Now, let's go ahead and get it mounted. Close was that? Yeah, it's nice. What you know, it's like two and a half inches. Two and a half, two inches long, longer than. Cut, a, cut an inch off of these. Okay, I chopped it down an inch because what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of plywood. So I'm adding, I'm going to add them in here. And then that's going to, that's going to strengthen my grip on the aluminum. So I'm doing, I'm going to do that. The extra threads. Pretty close. We got enough thread to pull it back through. Here we go. Let's hold. All right. Very nice. All right. All right. Take that back. I don't need this in anymore. I don't need this. This, this. Um, for me. That's kind of my next. Next thing. Set that back. No, no, it ain't. She ain't going nowhere. All right. Go ahead and get our, our systems plugged back in here. See when I get out there, how much of an angle I need. Mean. 
that and then on the other side. Sit on. Unfortunately, I don't have a, I don't have a, the, the right mount. This is for a freaking seven. This is a five. So, a little, a little difference in mounting, mounting bracket size here. And, um, that takes care of that. All right. Now my only question is, is it's going to be in my knee. In my knees. I get surprised the last time because I forgot. I didn't even put the pin in. I brought it home the other day. Right, so let's see. Am I going to use this, that one or am I going to use this one? God, I'm not going to do it all over. All right, down. joystick in just a little bit when I'm playing with it here. You're looking right at my back. All right. So I guess I'm leaving it like leaving it like so. I want I need, I'd like the wide wider spot, wider space anyway. And now I got room up here. I need whatever I need to do up here. Um, I'm thinking I'm on, gonna have the uh, uh, underwater camera sitting right up here um, I didn't really think about it I can launch I can launch my drone from here as well um, I can launch it from the I can launch it from the front because I've got a plate for it uh, landing pad landing pad I could have one right here so I can I could actually have it land take off and land right here in front of my face uh, all right and then when I go to put the transducers out put that forward move this slide them out spin them forward I'll be done before I get in the boat. <laughs> Still not low enough. Okay. Okay. All right. Side of the boat. And then when I'm done, look at everything. Stick it in there. Yes. 
you can find holes. No holes in them. Okay. Get out! Good. All right, I'm done playing for today. She's all installed. I got everything where I wanted it. All right, bring this down. Look. I say I didn't paint this. Put a coat of paint on this thing. That thing. Right. You're good. I'm gonna get me a pin so I know it won't open. Going down the road. Um, and speaking of going down the road, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get another set of you know, like metal pad. And then just go ahead and put it, strap it right over the top. So then I'm going down the road and I know this isn't gonna keep you know rocking back it will rock i'm sure it'll rock back and forth but i mean it'll be secured by both of those seats when we're going down the road and then it'll, it's not going to go rock and rock and rock and rock it'll be secured by both this and the back one so i do need another they only need one same thing about that you just get one Oh, yeah. All right, so there we are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. We will catch you on the next. So cheap.